Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Lee and Boof Melissa and we are today at the Washington State Gardens. No, nope. Washington Oak Gardens State Park. What she said. Come along with us. It's raining. A lot. We don't mind. So guys, we wasn't into this trail 30 seconds and it started raining on us. It actually was quite the little downpour. Um, so you will notice throughout the screen the little water droplets on the outer housing of the Rilo. I apologize about this in advance. This is my first time having the Rilo out in water. So I didn't realize how often I needed to keep that camera lens wiped down so that way the picture is crisp and clear. Um, learning curve. As I stated before in my previous video, this, this Rilo is going to be a learning curve for me, but I am getting the hang of it rather quickly. Uh, more from uh, trial by fire than anything else, but hey, it's what we can work with. Uh, you'll see there I'm uh, wiping down the camera lens again, trying to keep the water off of it. Because it is, at this point, misting on us. We spent the majority of the heavy downpour under a very large tree trying to stay dry. I say trying because we wasn't very successful. So we're here we are presently in the Rose Garden, which is just breathtaking. I don't know exactly how many rose bushes they have planted, but I can tell you it is a lot. And so many of them were in bloom, and there were so many different colors. It was amazing. In addition to the, sorry about that little shift there, in addition to the little paved walkway that led around it that really just accented it beautifully. But the roses were amazing. They had this little trail here that led up to, I would almost call it like a well. I don't believe that's actually what it was. But it was interesting to look at. The, you couldn't see very well. Unfortunately, it was very overcast and cloudy when we was filming. Hence that it had just rained. So the video is a little dark and I apologize about that. But um, again, that was some type of well, I guess. I don't really know, to be honest with you. But it was interesting. But you can see at different angles of the Rose Garden, it was just breathtaking. Heading out of the Rose Garden, you go through this little terrace where there's also some additional flowers. They're really beautiful. And it brings you out on the other side to a couple different trails. From my experience, all the trails pretty much lead to the same place. They all kind of go in a circle. It just depends on which path you want to take to get to that circle. But one of the first stops that we did was to a little, I won't call it an overlook. It led out to the, well, it overlooked out to the water. It was really beautiful. I mean, the trees were a bit overgrown, so you didn't really get a clear, crisp shot of the water. But honestly, it was still really beautiful, I thought. It's funny, you can see all of the standing water on that bench, just to kind of give you an idea of how much rain fell in a very short amount of time. We got drenched, but it was such an amazing time, I tell you it was. Coming off of this trail, you can go back down a separate trail, just off of the Rose Garden Trellis there that you saw initially, or you can shoot down the second trail, which is more of a gradual decline. Now this takes you right down to the water's edge. I will tell you the views at the bottom, simply beautiful. Now just a reminder guys, this is called the Washington Oaks Garden State Park. It is located in Palm Coast, Florida. If you decide that you want to come here, I strongly recommend it. It's a very quick and easy trip. It's great for all ages. It costs $5 for carload to get in, but worth every cent. I will also tell you make sure that you go across the street from the Garden State Park when you're done here because they have a beautiful little beach access and some fantastic rock formations that are well worth the view. They are not as easily accessible for everyone, but well worth the view. To me, there's just something about the water. It's just so peaceful, so relaxing, so woosaw, as I like to call it. It was actually interesting as we was walking along this, this section here that does essentially a U down the trail and then you come back up the other side. There was several fishermen out here fishing and one of them particular caught my attention which was a young boy. 
he had something on his hook and it was giving him a workout, as you're going to see. I will tell you, this young man got it in with a slight assistance from Dad. Not too much, but a slight assistance. I don't remember exactly what type of fish Dad said it was, but I can tell you that it was a slippery fish because this young man had a little bit of difficulty hanging on to it. I tell you, that's got to be the worst placed water droplet ever in the history of filming. Dad was fairly certain this was a keeper, but he was going to have to measure it to make sure. I'll be honest with you, from looking at it, I certainly thought it was a keeper. It was a beautiful fish. But again, like I said, a bit of a slippery one. Dad was taking the fishing pole to go get the camera, and yep, that little guy fell right out. So as we made our loop around, we found this beautiful gazebo, which was very nice because the rain had started coming down again. Not as heavy as it was last time, but still steady enough. So we took shelter under this for a few minutes to let the biggest part of it pass before traversing back off on the trail. There was so much plants and shrubs and flowers throughout this park that was just breathtaking. Even the grass is beautiful. It really was amazing to see all the different colors of green, the textures of green. It, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it was just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful park. And one I would recommend, if you get the opportunity to, you take a few minutes to check out. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like our content and hit that bell for us. Check us next time. Toodles. See ya.